Turn with me please in your Bibles to the book of Genesis. ஆதியாகமம் முப்பதாவது அதிக அதிகாரம் ஜெனசிஸ் சாப்டர் தேர்ட்டி பிளீஸ் அண்ட் ஐ லைக் டு ரீட் யூ லாஸ்ட் வேர்ஸ் வேர்ஸ் ஃபார்ட்டி த்ரீ இவ்விதமாய் அந்த புருஷன் மிகவும் விருத்தி அடைந்து திரளான ஆடுகளும் வேலைக்காரிகளும் வேலைக்காரரும் ஒட்டகங்களும் கழுதைகளை உடையவனான மிகவும் விருத்தி அடைந்தான் என்ற அந்த வார்த்தை இரண்டு வார்த்தைகளை குறித்துக் கொள்ளுங்கள் when god is in covenant with a man increase will come the bible way not your way most people think well a man should be blessed only so much and no more wrong the bible decides how much a man will be blessed how much a man will increase how much a man will go up in life not you or me ஒரு மனிதன் எப்படி விருத்தி அடைவான் எவ்விதமாக அவன் உயர்ந்த ஸ்தலத்திலே அவன் உட்கார்வான் என்பது கர்த்தர் தாமே நிதானிக்கிறதை நாம் வேதாகமத்திலே பார்க்கிறோம் மனிதன் அல்ல உடன்படிக்கையிலே இருந்த தேவன் இந்த உடன்படிக்கையின் மனிதனாகிய யாக்கோபோடு பேசி தேவன் ஞானத்தை கொடுத்தது நிமித்தம் என்ன நடந்தது தெய்வீக செழிப்பு அவன் கைக்கு வந்து சேர்ந்தது என்று நாம் பார்க்கிறோம் அந்த இடத்தை நாம் கவனத்தோடு வாசிப்போம் என்றால் அந்த செழிப்பு எப்படி இருந்தது இயற்கை ரீதியிலே அவன் இதுவரைக்கும் பெறாத சம்பளமாக மாறிற்று என்று நாம் பார்க்கிறோம் நோ ஹவு டு திஸ் இன்க்ரீஸ் த பைபிள் இன்க்ரீஸ் த பிபிளிக்கல் ப்ராஸ்பெரிட்டி டிரான்ஸ்லேட் டு திஸ் மேன் ஜேக்கப் well it translated into the very wages that were kept back fraudulently from him so the man is now prospering but you must understand prosperity the bible way bible prosperity always ensures that others prosper when you prosper i don't hear people this evening bible prosperity never says only one man prospers you can never find that anywhere in scripture when one man prospers there are a host of people who come under his covering protection who prosper as well some 23 tells us my cup runneth over why does the cup of a man run over why does a man's cup run over it is so that others could benefit from the overflow of blessing if you thought the cup running over was just to show people the kind of wealth you have think again that's not the reason why wealth comes into a man's hand oru manidanudey kai ku sera vendiya deiviga selippu varumbolude edanal avan kai ku varum velayile என் பாத்திரம் வழிந்து ஓடுகிறது என்று சங்கீதக்காரன் இருபத்தி மூன்றாவது சங்கீதத்திலே பேசினது என்று நாம் பார்க்கும் பொழுது அது மற்றவர்களும் அவனிடத்தில் வரும் பொழுது அவர்கள் ஆசீர்வாதத்தை பெற்றுக் கொள்ளும்படிக்கு இது நடக்கிறது என்று நாம் பார்க்கிறோம் you know wrote or by mechanical mechanically they just read the scriptures you know how many people come to your house and stay in your house every day how many people can you look after every year on a perennial basis sometimes people can't even handle guests for two days in a month it leaves them tensed it leaves them worried now think about men servants and maid servants and their families that are dependent on you they are looking to you for succor they are looking to you for provision they are looking to you that you will be blessed so they 
can enjoy the blessing as well. Now that takes God. Can I have an Amen please? Don't look at me in a strange way. I'm not talking something that you don't understand. Most people can't handle guests. But look at this man. He's not handling guests. He's handling people 24 hours of the day. Men servants. Maid servants. Who are a part of his household. And this is a man who never had these things earlier. Remember how he left his father Isaac's house. He left his father's Isaac's house as a single man. But when the blessing came, it came in such a way that he could handle abundance. Aven virti adayum vela ille eppuri andha asirvada vande den dal matra vargulu mandha asirvada tirke kiira ga vande nindre avargulu mandha asirvada te petrum kollum badi ke pariburna tei aven anu bavikka thodangiran andha neeratil thame yedirpu vargara dayi nam parkaro. இது இவனுடைய வாழ்க்கையில மட்டுமல்ல எல்லார் மனிதனுடைய வாழ்க்கையிலும் நாம் பார்க்க கூடிய ஒரு காரியம் அதுதான் now listen when increase comes the bible way always there will be opposition the opposition is not basically against the man it is against the god who prospers that man so that when the opposition comes the opposers of the ones who are opposing the man who's prospering Try to draw the attention away from God to themselves. They don't want to acknowledge God. They don't want to acknowledge His work. I want you to write it down. One man is in Asirvadithi, Avan Sedi Padayam Vela Ile, Yedirpu Varum Vela Ile, Yedanal Yedirpu Varigre, One man is in Kedraga, the Varu the Kreyad, other Kumaraga. And the answer was that they could it the Kathar Kiviro the Mag and the Edir Puvarigrede Kathar Retil and the Magimai Poisera the Padiki, Edir Puvarigrede, Apri and Ral Edrigal, Wurupodum Katharei, Avagal Tangal Navi Nale, Avadan in the money than I asked Vadita and the Solva their Kumunvarum Makale. You look at people who are opposing a man who's seeing phenomenal increase. Never will they acknowledge that it is God at work. That, that's what you read in chapter 31 in the first verse. Where we read about Laban's sons. I want to show you that please. Come let's read. Because when you talk about Bible prosperity you must see the flip side of prosperity also. The flip side of prosperity is on the one hand you see God blessing you. On the one hand you see God's wisdom and manifestation. On the other side you see opposition. But will opposers continue to exist wrong? They will not. They will be taken away. Because that's what we are going to be seeing now. Let's read Genesis chapter 31, verse 1. Pinbu Laba Nudia Kumarar Yengal Thakapanaka Wundana Vaigal Yava Yum Yakoba Yeditu Kondan Yendrum Yengal Thakapanudia Puril Galinale in the Selvatanaya Ella Madindan Yendrum Sunna Vartele Yakoba Keta. Now listen to what the sons of Laban were saying. They said, This man Jacob got his glory because of our father. Now every man has an opportunity to hear the gospel. But not every man wants to hear the gospel. Not every man wants to know God. And this is a fact of life that you and I must come to grips with. Forget the ones who don't want to hear about God. Go for the ones who want to hear about him. Kartare Arium Badike over money than a Kivare Nalla Sandar Pate Karter, Kodukara, Anal and the Sandar Pate, eight to call money the girl Ursula Makaldan Ursula Makal Kartare Verkar, Laban de Kumar Regale Paragal, Yengal Takapanal, Takapanale, even a K. In the Selvam Vandi the end of Argal Sulugaragal, Angla Veda Agamatle, you will read the word glory. The word glory is written for the first time in Genesis chapter 31, verse 1, in relationship to wealth. And I want to highlight that in your Bibles, please. No wonder the book of Genesis is called the book of beginnings. The first time you are seeing the word glory linked to the word wealth. 
It means the weightiness of presence. How did this man Jacob become solid? Weight, his, the weightiness of his presence is seen. They said it's because of our father. Now you and I know clearly, because we have been following this for quite some time now, that Laban attacked the very source of the productivity of Jacob. He saw to it that what would produce genetic offspring that would match the wages that Jacob said would be his was removed. The male and the female of the cattle were removed. And it was entrusted into the hands of his sons. And they had a three day journey between them and Jacob. So when the sons of Laban were speaking, they were really slandering the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and now the God of Jacob. They were bringing slander against God. They were not acknowledging God. They were trying to highlight their father Laban as being something. But in chapter 30, Laban himself said it. He said, Jacob, I know from experience that God has prospered me since the day your foot entered my house. Unnudiya kaal en vittu kullaga pravesitta andanal mudel. Enakku selippu vandadhu endru naan ariven endru laaban thane than vaayinale arikai seidan. Now Laban's sons are negating the words of Laban. Why? Because they want to sow division. Follow very carefully. They want to sow division. Look at how the division worked in verse 2. Laban in Mugatai. Yaakob Parthapodu. Now the word favor is always translated the countenance of a man's face. The countenance of a man's face. Dayai endu naam sollum boludhe. Oru mani denudiya muga pragasathai kanbikiradhaga irukiradhe endru vedagamam podikiradhe. ஆதி ஆகமம் முப்பது ஒன்றாவது அதிகாரம் இரண்டாவது வசனத்திலே லாபானின் முகத்தை யாக்கோபு பார்த்த போது அது நேற்று முந்தனை நாள் இருந்தது போல இராமல் வேறுபட்டு இருக்க கண்டான் Now why did Laban's countenance change? Because Laban started believing the words of his son. He should not have. He should have had enough sense to tell them wrong. This is something supernatural. It's never happened before. You know what I did. I attacked the man's productivity. But somehow something supernatural has happened. Let us find out how this has taken place. He didn't. He started believing the words of his sons. And that's the danger. That's the danger of people who choose to throw their lot with the wrong words. Parangal, it all translated into a change of countenance. Favor that Jacob had till now seen, at least to a certain extent, now left. Either varaikkam muga pragasam satri irindadayum. இல்லாமல் போயிற்று என்று நாம் பார்க்கிறோம் ஏனென்றால் லாபான் யாக்கோபுக்கு விரோதமாக தன்னுடைய குமாரர்கள் பேசின வார்த்தையை விசுவாசித்தான் அதை ஏற்றுக்கொண்டான் அவன் ஏற்றுக்கொண்டிருக்க கூடாது ஏனென்றால் அவனுக்கு நன்றாக தெரியும் அவன் செய்த காரியம் என்ன என்று அவர்களுக்கு அவனுக்கு நன்றாக தெரியும் Words have a way of working. But you must understand that when a man sows bad words, bad seed, the only way to combat bad seed is with good seed. You don't hear an amen. You can't combat bad seed with bad seed. You combat bad seed with good seed. Tavarana vidai pol irukkum vartegal 
உங்களுக்கு எதிராக மக்கள் பேசும் பொழுது நீங்கள் என்ன செய்ய வேண்டும் நல்ல விதையை விதைக்க வேண்டும் ஏனென்றால் கெட்ட விதையை வைத்து நீங்கள் கெட்ட விதையை போராடி மேற்கொள்ள முடியாது யூ கேன் நெவர் ஃபைட் பேட் சீட் வித் பேட் சீட் யூ கேன் ஃபைட் பேட் சீட் வித் குட் சீட் ஆல்வேஸ் வாட் வாஸ் பேட் சீட் த வேர்ட்ஸ் ஆஃப் லேபன் சன்ஸ் they were spewing out words laban was listening jacob was also listening now god steps in why because god is the author of the seed i know your people this evening god is the author of the seed vidai pol irukkum vaarthai in அதை உருவாக்கினவர் என்று நாம் சொல்லலாம் உருவாக்கின கர்த்தர் இப்பொழுது நேரடியாக யாக்கோபடு பேச தொடங்குகிறார் நல்ல விதையை போல் இருக்கும் கர்த்துடைய வார்த்தை தாமே கர்த்தர் யாக்கோபோடு பேசி தவறான விதையை விதைத்த அந்த விதையை மேற்கொள்ளும்படிக்கு கர்த்தர் தாமே பேச தொடங்குகிறார் நோ ஒன் யூ சி காட் ஸ்பீக்கிங் வாட் இட் இஸ் ஸ்பீக் தட்ஸ் மெயின் திங் கர்த்தர் யாக்கோபை நோக்கி உன் பிதாக்களுடைய தேசத்திற்கும் உன் இனத்தாரிடத்திற்கும் நீ திரும்பி போ நான் உன்னோட கூட இருப்பேன் என்றார் the god is speaking good seed the bad seed highlighted laban the good seed lifts up the living god can i have an amen he said i'll be with you i'll prosper you i'll be your source the sons of laban said it's because of our father this man prospered the god says no i'll be your father i'll prosper you i'll lead you i'll guide you now directly you find him speaking to jacob neradiyaka yakob inidathil devan thame nal vidai pol irukkum thanude vaarthaiyai avar kodukiradai nam paarkrom endha idathirkku thirumbi poga vendum endru avar solugirar vaakku thattam seiyappatta idathirkku nee thirumbi po yenral vaakku thattam seiyappatta nilamanadhu nal nilam the land of promise is always considered good soil good land remember what the bible says the book of psalms tells us why israel faced 40 years of punishment because they despised the what good land canaan is called good land the land of pr- promise nalla desathai avargal asattai panninadhu nimithum nyayam theerpai avargal அனுபவிக்க வேண்டியதாக இருந்தது என்று வேதாகம் நமக்கு போதிக்கிறது அப்படி என்றால் வாக்கு தத்துவம் செய்யப்பட்ட தேசம் நல்ல தேசம் நல் நிலம் அந்த தேசத்திற்கு திரும்பி போ நான் உன்னோட கூட இருப்பேன் என்று கத்து சொன்னார் என்று நாம் பார்க்கிறோம் நான்காவது வசனம் அப்பொழுது யாக்கோபு ராகேலையும் லேயாலையும் வெளியிலே தன் மந்த இடத்தில் அழைப்பித்து தன் மந்த இடத்தில் he called his wives to where to the place where his flock was standing circle the word his flock till now he didn't have flock of his own now god's blessed him and he has flock of his own we are going to close with that for now but i'm going to show you why wealth transfer is no joke it is real தெய்வீக செழிப்பு என்பது ஒரு விளையாட்டு அல்ல நிஜமாக கத்தர் செய்யும் ஒரு காரியம் ஆனால் அது எப்படி நடக்கிறது என்று நீங்கள் ஆவிக்குரிய கோட்பாடுகள் என்ன என்று புரிந்து கொள்ள வேண்டும் யூ காண்ட் அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் த மெத்தடாலஜி இன் விச் பைபிள் ப்ராஸ்பரிட்டி ஒர்க்ஸ் இஃப் யூ டோன்ட் அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் இட் யூ வில் கோ த்ரூ லைஃப் எக்ஸ்பீரியன்சிங் திங்ஸ் தட் யூ டோன்ட் ஹேவ் டு கோ த்ரூ ஆல் பிகாஸ் ஆஃப் இக்னரன்ஸ் these are principles 
that God have, has placed. And it will work for any man. It will work for any man. Parangal. In the army, the Korea court party, the Nampin Patrum Burde, in the money than you're in the Alm Seria, the Namade Kaiku and the Serum Asir Vada Mage, Mar. Yen and Dal, in the army, the Korea court party, in the Wulagate, summon the Pate or court party. Remember, when you look at the principles of God, they apply to the world that we live in. Take, for example, the laws of gravity. The laws of gravity will work for any man. Or else all of us will be floating here now in church. Yes or no? We are in the spirit pastor, really? Can't you see us? We are floating. The laws of gravity don't work for us. We are believers. That's not how it is. It works for everybody. Why? Because it pertains to the life in which we are living in. The only time that it will stop working... Is if God chooses for it to stop working temporarily. And that's what is called a miracle. There is a suspension of a certain law. For a point of time. For a specific purpose. Where God Almighty in his judgment. In his wisdom. Chooses to step in. And something supernatural happens. But otherwise it will work for everybody. Irupu tanmai yellow mani dargalukkum. Sail padum oru tanmai aga irukkaradu. Viswasi in the alum seri, Aviswasi in the alum seri. Ayal Pargal in the court particle is Nandrag and Ampurin the Kolvo Mendral. Nichia Magabe, Namde Wal Kale, Devi Seripi, Etra Kalatlinam, Son the Pogam Lirpo Mendral, Katha Namde Kaikwanda de Serum Badika and my Asir Vadipa. Remember, God will prosper us and bless us if we choose to walk by faith and have the right kind of patience and don't give up. We will see this prosperity come our way. Let's bless the Lord and give Him thanks and praise. And bring our offerings in the Lord's tithe joyfully before Him this evening. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Nandri Raja. Nandri, 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 Nandri Yesuve. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Nandri Raja. Nandri Raja. Hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you. Kindly take your offerings and the Lord's tithe in your hands. Please lift it up before the Lord. Let's confess God's word as we give this evening. We believe that the God of Jacob, who prospered Jacob, is the God who prospers us as well. For you are the same yesterday, today and forever. We make confession of what we believe from where we read in the word about who you are and what you are to us, O oh Father. And even now this evening, as tithes and offerings are released into your kingdom, as people sow uncommon seed for an uncommon miracle in their life, we are commanding blessings to run and overtake your people. We are commanding increase to come the Bible way. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. We pray that your people will never shun Bible prosperity because of opposition. In the mighty name of Jesus. But they will continue to look at look to you as so, so father. Nire asirvadatin utraga irikri rendre avargal arinde. Oru podum edirigalai paartthu bayapadamel. Deviga sedipai anubavikkum pillegalaga umbude rajatile irukkum badikke. Oh, hallelujah. 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 We thank you, Father. And we believe that it shall be so, even as we have said. In Jesus' name we pray and everybody said, Amen. And Amen. Hallelujah.